Hi guys, you're on varm24.com and today we are going to assemble Samsung Galaxy A71 5G. At the very beginning we need to remove the card tray. For this we use a special tool. And pull out the combined tray for two SIM cards and memory card. After that we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature above. 65 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we will use a plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise. We always need to be careful around the side buttons, because in this area there may be a cable and it can be damaged. And we open the back cover. Only the gasket is presented on the cover. Ok, we move on to unscrewing the screws. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash 3 The screws are not really magnetic, so we will need two wizards to remove the stuck screws. We also have to be careful in the camera's area, so that we don't damage the lenses. The tweezers have ceramic tips, which helps us avoid short circuits during the assembly. Now we have to detach the cover. This cover has a small indentation on the edge. In this place we can hook the cover and carefully detach it and turn it over. And we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. The screws are all the same too, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in easy to remember order for assembly. And the screws are also badly magnetic, so we also have to use tweezers to remove them. Once we have removed the screws, we need to detach the loudspeaker cover. We gently hook around the edge and detach the cover and remove the whole assembly. And we disconnect the connectors and remove the interboard cable. Then we disconnect the display cable connector and the fingerprint sensor connector. We unscrew one screw holding the subboard in place. The screwdriver is the same, but the screw may be different. Then we hook the subboard from the edge and detach it. The subboard is slightly recessed. It's not glued because it was screwed on with a screw. The interboard cable is soldered to the subboard, so we need to remove them together. On the subboard we have the microphone, the charging port, the headphone jack port and the interboard cable. And in the display frame we have the fingerprint sensor. We unscrew one screw securing the motherboard. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. So we can detach the front camera. And we also detach one rear camera. The body of the camera is slightly glued, we need to be careful. And we move on to detaching the motherboard. Carefully pry up by the edge. We look that nothing holds it and we take it out. The speaker and vibration motor remain in the display frame. We can turn the motherboard over. Disconnect the connectors and remove the rear camera's assembly. Ok, 
carefully push out the canvas assembly. It is slightly glued around the edges. Ok guys, that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.